Hello, I'm Ron Tanis, and today we have another short service video from SkiBoatPartsOnline.com. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the MDC 1600, the Medallion MDC control board that controls the instrumentation system on ski boats uh, in the late 90s and early 2000s. Uh, some of the uh, uh, idiosyncrasies with this board and when it goes out, what your options are, what you should do and the logical thing to do when it goes out. But first we're going to have a short history on lesson on why these came about, why we have them, uh, and it all goes back to speedometers. It's all about the speedometer system in the boats. Again, this is all about the speedometers, why we have these uh, MDCs in the boats. During the 60s, 70s, 80s, and into the 90s, one company provided all the speedometers for the ski boats. That was Air Guide. Uh, the AWSA, our governing body, said that we had to have speedometers that were adjustable. This old guy is adjustable. And you just had to have a, uh, a backup system so all tournament boats had at least two speedometers. Uh, this is an old 1970 vintage Air Guide Contralog 727 surface mount speedometer. This is off my old Hydrodyne and believe it or not it still works. In later years, uh, they came out with the plastic case speedometer. Again, still adjustable. Uh, this one happens to be calibrated uh, in kilometers for our European customers. Um, but these speedometers were the standard, and they are all what we call pitot tube driven. Uh, the pitot tube drags in the water behind the boat. Uh, converts water pressure into air pressure. There's a hose that goes forward to the dash. And in the back of the speedometer, there's a little uh, fitting where the hose is connected for the, the airline. These are pitot tube driven speedometers, and this was the standard for years. Okay, in 1996-97, uh, somewhere around there, uh, Air Guide uh, announced they were going to stop building the speedometers that we had been used to buying for years and the industry was scrambling for a replacement. Uh, there were no other speedometers available at the time that had adjustability. Um, there were plenty you could put two of them in but they weren't adjustable. A company called Medallion out of Michigan uh, had a product uh, that they were using in the heavy truck industry. Uh, it was an interface board that converted analog information into digital signals and they had gauges that they were producing that they could uh, uh, configure into a speedometer and they thought they could build a system that the ski boat industry could use. Uh, and in 97 they chose American skier boats to be their guinea pig. And so the very first MDC controlled speedometer system and instrumentation system was developed uh, and put in the American skiers. In a nutshell you had uh, the same pitot tube driven uh, source which drove air pressure to two air pressure sensors on a board. Inside the circuit board they convert that to digital information. Coming out of the board fed a stepper motor driven speedometer. The speedometer does not have a hose connected to the back. It has wire plugs that go into the back. Uh, and this is what fed the uh, the speedometer system and it was electronically adjustable. It was a rock solid program for years, worked very, very well. Uh, I will point out, however, there was a couple of generations that we need to be uh, sure we have. There was two generations. The uh, generation one, which I believe is only on the American skier boats, and generation two, which is what everyone else I believe had uh, after us. The difference is the little tab position for the wire plug. The polarity is reversed between generation one and generation two. Uh, but most everyone out there should have generation two. So in the late 90s and early 2000s most all ski boats, uh, most of them used an MDC controlled instrumentation system which provided uh, everything for your all of your instruments in your boats and it was a pitot driven system. Okay, so if you have one of these systems and you experience uh, instrumentation failure, either the MDC has been condemned and is no longer working or one of the gauges, the stepper motors inside has failed, 
Um, all of these boats are now uh, over 10 years old and these parts are beginning to fail. We have some known um, design defects, if you would, on the MDCs. Uh, if water is allowed to get into the pitot tube ports uh, and allowed to freeze, it will uh, cause damage. Uh, so what do you do? If you've got a, a bad MDC and or bad gauges on top of it, stepper motors have failed. Um, these parts have become very expensive and hard to get. Uh, it got to the point where back in June of 2016 we looked at the whole program and said this is not working, this is not good for our customers, we need to come up with a better uh, system. So, if you've got this and your system has failed, we recommend that you get rid of it. Now we have a better system. Uh, this, again, going back to speedometers. Speedometers is the, is the real uh, ticket here. Now we have GPS standalone self-contained speedometers. We can take the entire instrumentation system out of the boat. We can take the MDC out of the boat and with a TRD conversion kit which comes with uh, the wiring harness, the custom harness for your boat, all of the instruments that you have and GPS driven speedometers you now have what I believe is the best way to go to repair your system. Uh, it's affordable and it is rock solid when it comes to speedometer dependability. The rest of your instruments will be no different in performance from what you had. But this is one of the gauges for the TRD conversion kit and we'll have a few pictures after this of some of the kits that we're offering. Thank you and God bless. Okay, here's a quick look at a few of the TRD conversion kits that we are offering. This first one is for a Mastercraft. It is in white, also available in black, uh, with its custom harness, the fuel sending unit, and the associated parts needed for the installation. This is a two gauge kit that is for a boat with perfect pass. It does not need the speedometer, so it gets uh, two gauges and a custom harness and, these, and the hardware you need to install it. Uh, this last kit shown is the three five inch gauges typically used in a Malibu. Uh, this is uh, by VDO. We are offering instruments by both VDO and Faria. Uh, the Faria five inch uh, speedometers will not be available until later this fall. Uh, but in the meantime we have uh, the VDO available now. Thank you and hope uh, we can help you. Give us a call. We have uh, instrument kits that are being developed for just about every ski boat at this point. But uh, uh, if we don't have yours, we'll have it soon. Thank you.